two things going on. You've got a lot of growth that is is underperforming and, and money's coming out of there, but the money seems to be moving into, into more cyclical type of areas. Uh, and so, and it's also, you had a, a crazy moves, lots of ex, um, excessive speculation. And, but on the other side, on the positive side, now you've got all this stimulus coming back. You know, the Fed is starting to send out checks. Everybody's mm -hmm. getting money again. Where's that money going to go? It always seems like every time the Fed starts pumping money, it ends up into the into the market. So, I th I get the feeling that this can go on for a, a, a bit longer, and, um, and and so you have to take a you know a positive stance. Because you know people out of work that that are getting six hundred dollar checks and getting uh, you know getting uh, I don't know how much every week are going to be probably putting it right into the marketplace. So you've got kind of these competing forces, and and with that said, I, I still what Bill always says is you take it day by day, and if mm -hmm. you can find enough stocks to buy, if you have stocks that are breaking out of bases that are looking good, well, you got to go with it. If you can't find anything to buy, and that's what's so great about having a discipline, then sooner or later, every one of your stocks are going to be stopped out, and you're going to have a pile of cash watching the market roll over. So right now, I can still find a number of stocks to buy, and and I'm probably about 70% invested, 60 to 70% invested, uh, but it's in different areas than where it was earlier, um, or, or where it was from last year. Um, so, but I'm taking it day by day, and as as long as I can continue to find names to buy, then I'll I'll keep on uh, I'll keep on buying them. And given, uh, I guess, what what index? Now, now that we're kind of rotating away from technology, are you paying as much attention to the NASDAQ and, or, or are you focusing more now on the S&P or even the Russell? What, how are you looking at the market day to day? Yeah, well, and again, yeah, you're seeing if you bring up the, the triple Q chart, you'll see that this is actually from that, from that September 2nd point where the triple Q's hit 303, mm -hmm. you see the relative strength line has just been going sideways. And actually, it's actually breaking a little bit of an uptrend, right? I mean, today. Mm -hmm. right. um, so, but yeah, it, it looks like you're going to have to key more off of off the Dow, look at going into new high ground and going off that Russell. Now, the Russell is outperforming um, in that uh, You've got a lot of a lot of financials in that Russell, a lot of small banks and such, and that's why you're seeing that Russell really power higher. So I, those would be the indices I would probably key off of. But I, you have to look at all of them because if if the Qs are starting to underperform, well, that's where you don't want to have as much money, right. and you want to be moving it into other areas. And yeah, and, and financials. Well, this is one I always look at is the. Uh, Direction Financial Bull FAS. That's that's also a way of playing financial. I mean, that's three times. I mean, I guess there's a there's a number of other ways mm -hmm. that you can. Um, but yeah, you you take you take uh, you know to indices. You look at group charts. One group that I, people haven't been talking about that is really to me is starting to roll over, and this could hurt some industries. Well, it's maybe not rolling. Well, it's on a relative strength base. Is the home the, the home builders, ITB, um, is uh, is is a ETF that tracks mm -hmm. those. But you look at. Um, you look at everything from uh, LG Homes. A lot of these are looking like head and shoulder patterns, mm -hmm. and it's just this is just a group. And there's and Lennar and D H Horton um, just really look like they're they're really starting. I mean, rel relative strength lows and D H Horton going to a six month low. Right. It's just a group that is just out of favor. That also influences a, a number of other groups. So you have to be careful there, but. There's again. There's other groups that seem to be, uh, you know, seem to be doing well. Hey everyone! Thanks so much for watching Investors Business Daily on YouTube. If you want to watch more videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing.